Hello everybody, this is Emmanuel and this is my YouTube channel. Today I would like to show you something from my childhood. I'm not exactly sure who showed me and when, but I was at least 10 years old when I was shown this twig. So, it's like an old toy since we didn't have much, so we had to improvise. So first of all, this is a, this is the end of the bottle where the cup goes. I just cut it and then you get a balloon. Just a simple regular balloon. Then the, you will cut it maybe halfway. Maybe. It depends how much you're gonna cut it. This is how much it will be sticking to the other end. So I will cut it. And then after you cut, you will be left, left with this. Part. When you take this part, you insert it, flip it over, and you attach it to you to the threaded side. You could use the whole balloon, but it will be just too long. So basically, you left with something like that. You get it. Then you take a piece of paper, you rip a piece, roll it into a ball, roll it into a ball, you stick it inside, and kaboom, there it goes. It basically shoots paper, small paper, around, or whatever you can fit it inside there. So, sorry for my English here, um, my English I am not the best, I will try to my best for you to understand me. So after I showed you this one, I thought, I thought yesterday that I could make it a little bit better and design and 3D print something similar so you can download it and have fun, shoot uh, targeting some bottles, some cans. So I came with this idea you can make it smaller or bigger you can scale it as you like uh, you can fit whatever balloon you want inside you can make it even smaller for smaller balloon bigger for bigger balloon it's up to you how you're gonna do it uh, so it took me about maybe 20 to 30 minutes to design this one pretty simple design not much going on on it uh, so I just started with a circle, another circle upstairs, connect them, make the sides here so you can aim whatever you're targeting and I make indentation here for your fingers so you can basically hold it. You don't have to hold a long object, you can just hold it by here. And I make it so it uh, it screws together. You have a like a bolt here, whatever you want, bolt, uh, bolt head. You can just grab and screw. If the tray, if it does not screw, it depends on your printer settings and on, uh, you know, you ba basically what your printing settings and how you're printing it. You may need to play a little bit with the thread, you know, do it like that back and forth to clean it. But usually, you yeah, know, usually to just thread right away. It does not thread all the way because there's a. I made it. Uh, I made a gap for the thickness of the balloon to sit inside and basically it's the same principle you just take this one you get another balloon you get the balloon like I said it depends where you cut it it depends when you cut it that's how how much it will be sticking outside so I cut it maybe here and then simple as that you just put it here roll it basically something like that it will it should not it should not slip even by without even without putting it on the on the screw on the main body 
and then simple as that you just screw it down make sure it's tied and make sure it's there yeah, as long as it fits there it fits there it's not necessary to screw it all the way as long as it should not go away so basically left with something like that the same principle the same thing you just get the paper you can make a bigger log whatever you can make them you can make the small posts wet whatever you you want to do if you want them to stick to a window simple as that make it sure there's no hard corner put it inside bam it even, even came back to me simple designers like that you can see I got two of them. I painted it, make it look like more like a you know simple toys like that. You can see it closely. Like I said, you can make them smaller, big, and you can use whatever balloon you want, big, small, as long as it fits. Bam! Bam! Simple but effective toy. So basically, went from a handmade, homemade, whatever you want to be DIY, like that, to the bottle and everything, to a 3D printed, custom made, let's say like that, toy. Though if you want to call it a toy or not, it's up to you. Use it responsibly. It didn't took me so long to design since it's a simple design. Especially if my computer was not as slow as a turtle, maybe it would be even faster. It took me maybe 20 minutes. I will not show how I designed it since it's not necessary to show. But basically something simple like that can be turned into something much more nice looking thing here. Not much to say about it, but it's just a simple, simple toy. If you don't want to have it, you don't have a 3D printer if you don't want to 3D print, you can just make it with a bottle. It will still do the same thing, it's just a smaller, a little bit difficult to hold. And of course you will want to uh, smooth and sand the edges so you will not cut yourself. I hope you will like it, I hope you will download it. Give me, tell me how, tell me if you like it or not. If you want me to design something, just say in the comments on my Instagram or my Facebook and I will see if I can make it happen. I don't do much modeling as far as, uh, you know, modeling a, like a Toyota or Honda or something, like a car or something. I don't do those things. I usually, whatever I, whatever I design comes from my mind. I hope you enjoy it. Subscribe, like, share. Thank you and I will see you in the next one.